Good morning, movers. Welcome back to Move Daily Fitness. It's Tracy. All right, today's workout, anterior chain. I filmed a posterior chain not too long ago where we looked at all the muscles on the back side of the body. Today, we'll focus on the front of the body. So pecs, front shoulder, quads, hip flexors, core. Yeah, those will be what we're focusing on today. So grab a variety of dumbbells. I'm also gonna use my bench. If you don't have one, feel free to grab the Swiss ball or a Bozu or the floor is fine. I'm also gonna use my Swiss ball in a rollout, but if you don't have that, we'll just do a plank walkout, okay? Warm up and cool down is included. Are you ready to do this and move daily? Let's go. strength on my watch. Let's start with the single arm shoulder circle right here. Big swing around. Yeah, so a lot of chest, some quads for sure, hip flexors, abs. Looks like a pretty good lineup. Um, I'm excited. <laughs> Switch sides. Always fun to try something different, isn't it? And this would be switch direction, something where you could put uh, the anterior chain on one day, then the posterior on the next, and just uh, do it that way sometime. I think that would be a good combination. Squat here. Hi, Lily. Spazitron, take it wide. Not her normal time for a lying down. <laughs> I've confused her. She's like, oh, is it playtime here, mom? And no, not for you, sis. Two more here. Good, let's touch her toes. Side to side here. That's it. That's good. Lengthen through that inner thigh. One more each side here. All right, we're going to drop it into a hip flexor stretch. So just turn, drop to the ground, reach up. Lean forward just slightly, just a little opening in that hip flexor. And switch directions, drop the knee, bring it up, and lean. Okay, one more on each side. Drop and reach, lean it forward. And switch one more here. Let's take it wide and open here. Let's reach across. And both at the same time here. Big circles. Switch directions. I feel like I'm getting static cling <laughs> doing this. Here's all static -y. Last five. Four, three, two, and there we go. All right, here's your first set of exercises. You're gonna start with a front squat. I'm just gonna start a little bit lighter with 12s here while I warm up those quads. All right, you wanna rack it in the front, feet are shoulder width apart, and drop it low, keep your chest up. Push through the heel. 
Like your mind is in your quads, even though you're gonna use a little bit of glutes here. Think quads and flex at the top. These are soft. Pop it here. Stick your chest out each time your arms come down. engaged. Great. We're going to go into that forearm plank. So those there. So elbows and your toes, mod from the knees. You're going to drive the elbows towards your toes, your toes towards your elbows. You're just gonna hold the plank here. All right, here we go, and pull. Pull toward each other here. Nice 45 second plank. Again, drop to the knees if you need to mod. Really want you to focus on bringing the elbows and toes toward each other. Squeezing the glutes, nice activation. That whole abdominal wall here, you're over half. Relax your hands and breathe deep. Excellent. All right, back to your squat. Nice activation of the quads and hip flexors there too. And we got up to 15s for the squat. All right, and drop. Your hips back. Seconds. Keep those shoulders away from your ears. All right, back into your forearm plank. I think I'll try tens on that front raise next round. Check this out. Elbows to toes, toes to elbows. All right, here we go. And hold. 
Nice neutral neck. Kind of looking at your hands below you. You want to make this more challenging, you can add a little leg lift so you're on a tripod instead. But this driving the elbows to toes really challenges my core a little bit more than normal. So I'm going to stick with that. Pull, pull, pull. Let's go. Three, two, and there you go. Round three. I'm going to go with my 20s on that squat. Drop it low. Core is engaged before you descend. cracking knees over here. <laughs> okay, that's heavy. And I'm going uh, to the tens, that front raise. Shoulders low. Good. All right, to the ground. Shake it out. Last plank here. From the elbows, drop it low and pull toward. is adding up, feeling it in my front shoulders after that heavier weight there for sure. Ooh, and abs are starting to shake. <laughs> Gotta love the treble, 15 seconds. Let's go, relax your hands, breathe deep. All right, ooh yeah, stretch it out for a second. Your next three exercises. We're going to start with front lunges. I'm going to use my 15s alternating front. I do have my Swiss ball for this round to do a rollout, or you could do a plank walkout if you don't have one. I'll show you that during the break. Starting with your front lunge, alternating. Here we go. Think of your quad. Okay, mind is in that muscle here. Bench. I'm actually going to go on the floor for this 
close grip chest press. So, how do you do a normal chest press? Bring your elbows in and press straight up, okay? Don't put palms facing, keep it in the chest press, but close to the body. And straight up and down. Your wrist might turn a little bit. This is uh, easier to do with a barbell, but we don't have one, so we improvise. Sorry, I've got 15s. I don't know if I said that, but there's, that's where I'm at. <clears throat> now I'm going to go into that rollout. So if you don't have a ball, you're going to do a plank walkout. Okay? If you have the ball, Get on your knees, hands are on the ball, extend it out and pull it back. Here we go. Roll, roll, roll here and back. Now you do not want to go out too far, only as far as you can come back, okay? Reach, 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 little pause and pull it back. You don't want your hips to drop or your back to arch, everything is flat. Work, isn't it? It's good. You might have an ab wheel. You could use that here as well. It's kind of old school. I bet Margaret has one. <laughs> Not saying you're old school, Margaret, but you and I were lifting in the 80s. <laughs> okay, back to your front lunges. Shoulders back. Here we go. <clears throat> like you're going to do a chest press, just elbows are, are closer to your body, okay? Here we go. Press. elbows can actually touch the ground and then you're getting a perfect range of motion there you know you're not going too deep sometimes on the bench you can dip too low be cautious of that all right ball or plank walkout Okay, hands together, roll it out, 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 pause, pull. You don't want your bum to go back up when you're pulling. Okay, keep your body flat. Bit of activation for the pec muscles as well, isn't it? Okay. 
Very good. I'm going to go to 20s for both these next exercises. Round three. Front lunge. Alternating. All right, I'll slow down a bit. Just with a heavier weight. Think of my quad. She keeps talking when I don't ask her to. I don't know what I did different, but it's annoying. <laughs> One more here. Okay, I think I'll feel that tomorrow. Great, there's your next set of exercises. Take a break if you need. We're gonna do three ups, step up, push up, sit up in this round here. I'm gonna start with 12s, forward leaning, step up. You can always do a squat tiny if you don't have a box. All right, one leg, forward lean and tap. I'm thinking about my quad here, okay? So I'm staying close to my bench. I'm not reaching far back. And I try and rapid fire here if I can. The bench isn't too high. If it's too high, just take your time. Thinking quad, flex at the top. Three, two, one, switch legs. That forward lean will help put some tension on the quad. Rotation. Mod from the knees. I'm going to push up, then a nice rotate, flexing the pec muscles and stretching in there as well. I'm down. Here we go. So push up here. Turn and stretch. Switch sides. Push up here. Up and stretch.
grab my 112 with a slow descending sit up. You can do this without a weight if you need. I'm gonna go down to the count of four, then sit up. All right, so four, three, two, one, up. Four, three, two, one, up. Nice little hip flexor, nice little core. Try to keep the dumbbell close to your chest. So you're using abs, not momentum, or counterbalance. Oh, it's hard, isn't it? When you don't stick the dumbbell out in front. Okay, that was hard. I'm using a 12 pound dumbbell. I might go lighter next time. I might stick, it's hard to say. All right, step up, front leaning, I'll hold 12s. And quad. I'll use a 10. <laughs> I mean, it's not much lighter, but a little bit. All right, at the chest, four. Four, three, two, one, sit up. Four, three, two, Shaking the abs there. Okay, round three. Oh, now it's working. 
Okay, push up, rotation. Let's work. Push up, holding that 10. I sit up rather, sorry. Just did the last push up. Okay, slow descent. Shoulders back, back is tall. Four, three, two, one. Sit up. Go as slow as you can at the bottom half, okay?
wall again. Drop your hips, press right here. chest, legs at the top. feeling this, I tell ya.
last dab here. Here we go. All right, very good. Take a break if you need. Last circuit there. Woohoo! I'm gonna start with a cross body front raise. I think I'll hold a 10. You're just gonna do one side at the same, same time for 22 seconds that I'll call half. Palm faces the ceiling, you're crossing and flexing front shoulder and chest. Up, same side. Try not to swing at the bottom. Comes to a dead stop. Take your chest out. Alright, switch your sides. Ten feels good for me. your arms at 90 degrees or your knees at 90 hands here now opposite hand and opposite foot reach off dog here all right if you do have your ball look where my ball is situated kneecaps and palms of hands and my opposite hand and leg are extending out pushing my back into the ground slow and control sweeping really low. Last one here. Now switch legs. Reach. Bring it low. Good. Nice little hip flexor stretch as a bonus. Oh, that's amazing. I do love it. I do. Okay, front raise, cross body raise. Get those tens. These are soft. Stick your chest. Same side here. side. Now switch. <clears throat> now 
Last one here. All right, dead bug. In between the knees and the palms, back is flat on the ground, little pelvic tilt, and opposite hand and foot. Here we go. of the anterior muscles. I, I like this workout. Here we go. Reach it up, low. Switch sides. Last four, three, two, 
two, one and done. You move daily in your anterior, <laughs> really? I guess so. Uh, workout, do a stretch if you can. All right, let's go into pigeon because that's a great hip flexor stretch. I'm just gonna drop my uh, pelvis toward the ground and just sit up, stretch this out here a bit more than the glute. That was great, I liked it, I really did. Um, again, that's a great com uh, complement to other higher intensity cardio workouts throughout the week. Great for muscle building, great for focusing and isolating. Switch sides here, specific muscle groups. Uh, the three rounds is your progressive overload, the focused attention on specific muscles, and in this case, the anterior chain. Good. Lots of synergist muscles in that category, helping each other, activating. You felt that when we did that front raise, you feel the abs activating. Uh, you know, when you're doing the bear hop, you're working abs, but the quads are there too. Very good. I'm gonna go into uh, Cobra, so on your stomach, just slow lift as high as you can and you're comfortable with. Oh yeah, it feels good. Just camp out there for a second. Now back down to your stomach, push up position to the knees and down into child's pose, push your chest to the ground. Drop your head. <sighs> Just camp out here for a second. And let's draw the arms and come up to cat and cow, round through the back. And exhale, drop the chest, lift the chin. One more time, round up through the back. While you're up here, just kind of reach your hips back side to side. Okay, one more time, side to side. Reach and reach. And drop the chest, lift the chin. Exhale there. Reach your hand in front, tuck your other arm under. Oh, just lie yourself down there, that's good. Nice little rear delt stretch. Not that we worked the delts, but this feels good, so I'll give it that. Switch sides. Tuck that arm under. <sighs> nice job, everyone. Very, very good. Let's stand up. I'm just going to do a nice little pec stretch. Stretch on my wall. Okay, open your chest up. Oh, this needs a lot of stretching. Really does. Try to do it every day, multiple places in my house. Uh, my massage therapist just says they're just, just starting to round and get tight. So oh, switch sides. Don't want that to happen. Gotta strengthen the muscles in the upper back, keeping the shoulder blades back. But you gotta stretch those pecs. And if you're at a computer or a phone, which we all are, you're gonna start to round there. So gotta watch my posture. All right, everyone. Fabulous workout. Maybe just one more stretch here. <laughs> I keep saying goodbye, but then I'm like, oh wait, we haven't stretched this yet. Yeah, do this, last stretch. Yeah, feel free to stretch longer. I know my camera's gonna die, I see the thing flashing, so I don't want it to die with me in the middle because then I have to run upstairs and get the next battery pack, <laughs> which I forgot to bring down, so. We're cutting it short. Thanks for joining. Go move daily in your fitness, wellness, and nutrition. I'll see ya in the next workout.